this is a brief introduction to Minder Client. From the Minder Client login page, you click on Login. Enter your username and password and click Login. This will display your dashboard. The top part shows the field service jobs. Here are the recent clients and most frequent clients that you access and your saved reports. You can navigate the clients using these quick keys on your dashboard. Here are the quick links for adding clients, adding jobs, adding payments, the type of activities you do on a regular basis. Charts relating to sales and activities and your outstanding list. To start, we're going to add a client. I click Add Client. Here we've got the contact details for the client, the profile fields. Most of these fields can be customized by Mind a Client for your business. Here we've got GDPR details to record that you have informed the clients about their rights to objective processing, the basis for processing them. Have they given permission for text, emails, etc.? And here we've got their social and digital media links and some additional fields. Fields can be flagged as mandatory. Back on the dashboard, we're going to look at the field service section. This gives a list of my outstanding jobs. This example is for an installer. These jobs have already been set up. If I want to add additional information to them or record time for them, I just click the plus sign on the right-hand side. It picks up the date and time person. I add in the hours. I can record a cost if I want to. And it details about the work I've done. And I add that. So if I have four active jobs, I can add information to them and add the work I do directly from my dashboard. To create a brand new job for a client, I click Add Jobs, put the details of the client in. Then I'm brought into that client. I can select what job type it is. Here are the examples that can be set up. All drop down lists can be customized in Mind the Client. So I put details in about the repair. I can select who in the company I'm dealing with, the status of the job, notes related to the installation, date when it's received, when it's due. I can record my time on the job, notes and cost as well there, and I can also record materials. When I click into an existing job, I can add more additional time. I can record the client can sign off, can record a signature. This can be done on a desktop or laptop, but also can be done on mobile phone. I can um, upload documents, a contract. Here's some already added in here. I can generate an invoice for all the work that I've done and email that automatically to the client. Once I create an invoice, the invoice will be listed here, showing the balance outstanding for the client and I can record payments against this invoice and it will give me a balance outstanding for the client. In relation to activities for a client, um, this would be day-to-day -day interactions, phone calls, meetings, reminders, scheduled new services, etc. So I can click on activities and I can add a new activity. This shows the um, type that are already in there, 
So I could say this was a support call I want to receive, I want to record. I can have a breakdown, it's level one, two, or three. Um, I'm recording it for myself, but I could schedule it for somebody else. Who in the company am I dealing with? Which particular job does it relate to? Is it recurring? If I want to book in a regular service every three months or every year, I can record it as a recurring activity. I can put in the date, the time, the duration. I can record the notes about the uh, support call. I can then add in reminders. This activity type is set to be automatically outstanding, so it will appear on my dashboard. I can have a reminder sent. I can have a future reminder. So this could I could schedule this for two weeks time, and I will get um, a reminder the um, the day before that that by email. I can send this to my Outlook. So this is all in relation to adding activities for the client. And you'll build up a full history of all the activities for the client, which can be searched in these boxes on top here. When you look at a client, you see all their information here, their email, their phone number, address. I can link to any of these, their Twitter account, etc. there. All of these tabs related to this particular client. We have the client details. We have the client contacts, additional people in the same company. We have all the activities. We have the sales that we're planning to make with this client managing of the pipeline. We have the jobs, the field service work. We have what documents we may have uploaded, contracts, um, quotes I may have sent them, etc. We have details of what payments have been made and what invoices are due from the client. I have an option here by print, uh, to print off all this information or select which parts I wish to print off. We can also download the profile and email it to them securely in line with GDPR if required. In relation to sales for a client, I want to plan a new sale. So I can say it's a warm lead. I can say which category of uh, the product I'm selling. I can get a breakdown of that particular product. When I hope to close the sale, what's the value of the sale, and any, any notes relating to the sale. So I click to plan that sale. To report on my sales, I click on reporting, pipeline reporting. And I could say I want to see all the um, sales for the current year, for example, current month or date range. This gives me a list of my warm leads, my proposals, sales, etc. All reports can be saved to your dashboard. And all reports can be output on screen or can be downloaded to Excel and some to PDF. In relation to support, if a client rings in and you want to record the, um, uh, the information, we would do a search for the client. From the search results, we would add in an activity. We would say we received a support call. We would say, who in the company am I assigning this to follow up? I can say, uh, record the notes of the, um, the support call. I can ensure that it's outstanding and it's uh, to make sure that it is followed up and I add in that activity. On my dashboard, I would get a list at the bottom of all outstanding activities. In relation to saved reports, here's a sample, my sales pipeline, my outstanding customer issues, client breakdowns, a sector breakdown, so your analysis fields can all be generated into graphs like this for output and summary of all clients. To look briefly at the reporting, 
click on reporting and client reporting. I can select any particular sector, size of company, location. I can profile the clients. I can pick out all the clients that I've had meetings with over the last three months or made proposals to. And then I can generate a report. I can send a text, a bulk text, bulk email. You can set up your own email uh, templates and text templates. In the administration section, you can change drop down lists. You can review the audit. You can edit staff and look at the uh, assign different permissions to staff. Here's all the permissions all explained. Each client can log into their own account to change their password. This quick search here searches by client, organization, contact, phone number, email, making it very easy to find information. So this was a quick run through Mind a Client. For more details or to arrange a personal webinar, please contact us at support at mindaclient.com. Thank you.